top 10 freshest summer colognes that I have on my collection video coming right up. Stay tuned after this intro. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. I found out I have a lot of clones. Either I purchased or they have been sent to me throughout the years. And in today's video, I picked up 10 of my favorite summer colognes, colognes, uh, for summer again. So without making this video way too long, let's just grab the first one and all these fragrances are not numbered really. I just pick them up randomly, you know, the drill by now. And this one has been recently sent to me and I personally love it. I wore it like a couple of times so far and I just love the opening, okay? If you love Millicene Imperial by Creed, that's a very good candidate for that. It performs very well in terms of the projection, uh, but the longevity is not the best test. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but the opening, it's so mouth-watering with that melon note. It's very salty, very fresh, very melony. It smells like Millicene Imperial. I haven't smelled Millicene Imperial in the longest time, but this one just reminded me of the bottle of Millicene Imperial that I sold probably like eight years back, and I regret it big time. The opening here lasts for about like two hours or so, so you would smell and you would project pretty much like Millicene Imperial for the longest time, but then it dries down into like a woody undertone. I'm talking about Icon by Pete and Pedro. I personally enjoy the opening of this one quite a bit. And if I have to respray every two, three hours or so, I will just because, because in this window, two to three hours, I can always respray. And that's the best time of this fragrance. And that's the time when it would land you the most compliments. Let's grab another one. It's another one that I bashed in terms of my uh, first impressions, but now I'm just addicted to it. This fragrance pretty much grew on me once I just unattached it from its original clone, which is Imagination. It smells kind of like Imagination, but it's got its own identity. This one is very fresh, very effervescent. It smells like white floral, but in a very fresh way, in a way. I personally love this one nowadays, and I'm talking about Karas Blue Spice by Cadlage. That's a good scent, guys. It doesn't last the longest on my skin, but all zingy, very fresh fragrances last that four hour mark and that's how long this fragrance lasts on my skin but uh for like what uh, 40 dollars or so i don't mind always to respray the next one i have on this list it's a it's a brand they have sent me their fragrances i don't know six seven years back and i'm talking about fragranza perfumes and elisi that's a very good elysium uh candidate or clone it smells nearly identical to Elysium. Very fresh with that woody undertone. I personally love Elysi by Fragrenza. And I've been wearing it quite a bit uh, for having it for the longest time and for having way too many clone fragrances. Uh, I truly enjoy this one quite a bit from uh, the house of Fragrenza. If you are looking to purchase a, an Elysium clone. Another great one from the house of Alexandria fragrances. This one smells expensive, bro. This one, it smells unique. I'm talking about the original Roja Parfum Oceania. And this is the clone of it, Alexandria fragrances, Blue Oceanic. Just to know what fragrance I'm talking about. Because sometimes I just talk and I forget to mention what fragrance I'm talking about. This one is very salty, fresh, floral. Vibrant, you just cannot go wrong with this one. It's pretty complex for being a fresh scent and it's best suited for grown up. If you are a youngster or a teenager, this one probably gonna smell old for you. But for people in like 30s and up or maybe like late 20s or so, Blue Oceanic for being a summer uh, fragrance, it smells very expensive and it smells very elegant at the same time. And the performance, you just cannot go wrong with it. Another one from the house of Zoha Aroma, and I'm talking about Ancient Citrus. Uh, I personally love this one, guys. 
I regret swapping or selling, I forgot, that has been a long time ago, my vintage bottle of Renaissance uh, by Zerjoff. I did sell that bottle just because I had this Zoha aroma, ancient citrus, and it smells identical to it. I was like, I literally don't need my bottle of Zerjoff Renaissance no more because I have this. This is a lot for me talking about how many fragrances do I own, but this one, it's beautiful, guys. If you are looking for a very good candidate for Renaissance by Zerjov, Zoha Aroma Ancient Citrus, it's a very, very, very good one. I personally enjoy this one a lot, and I'm really considering taking this one with me to my vacation. Another great one from the house of Latafa, and I'm talking about Qaid Al Fursan. This is a very sweet pineapple fragrance with a lot of smoky, leathery saffron. It could be feminine or juvenile from the sweetness of the pineapple at first. It just tastes that sweet, juicy, pineapple-y goodness the whole duration of this fragrance. But I feel like the saffron or the leathery saffron uh, note that it just gets more prominent the more this fragrance dries down. It just offsets that femininity or just offsets that juvenile feeling that this one gives if it didn't have that smoky vibe. This one, it lasts, it projects, and it gets a lot of compliments. Yes, it is synthetic to a degree, but uh, for the uh, regular Joes, they wouldn't really care or smell that syntheticness that this one gives, especially at first. And on the air, people just smell that smoky, sweet uh, concoction that this one gives. They just grab another one from the house of Rasasi. I've been having this one for the longest time. Oh my God, look how much I've worn of this one throughout the years. That's a lot of juice. And that's a strong juice as well. I'm talking about Alwi Sam Day, again by the house of Rasasi. And this is a silver mountain water clone. I personally love this one. This one is thicker, denser, stronger than the original Silver Mountain Water. And I've been having this one instead of the original Silver Mountain Water for the longest time. But I just love Silver Mountain Water freshness because it just gives out that more freshness that this one doesn't have. This one just goes straight into the heart of Silver Mountain Water. Silver Mountain Water, on the other hand, gives out that very fresh effects as well that I personally enjoy, then goes to the heart afterwards. But this one is a great, great candidate if you just don't wanna spend that hefty price point for Creed Silver Mountain Water. And this one, to me, smells more like a Silver Mountain Water Intense, just because it goes straight to the heart and it's denser, definitely denser than the original, fresher Silver Mountain Water. I bought Silver Mountain Water probably like seven years back because I was like, I love this scent way too much. I wanna have the original, but I still wear this one quite a bit. And uh, this is one of those fragrances that used to get me a lot of compliments back when I used to go to an actual office. I personally love this one. If you love Silver Mountain Water, that's a great candidate for that at a fraction of its price. Uh, let's go to Maher Legacy by Latafa. Again, Latafa, they do very great cheap fragrances, very great colognes that almost smells identical to the original. And this one smells a lot like Sedley by Parfum de Marly. I don't own Sedley, and I don't know when I'm gonna order a bottle. I'm, I'm okay with this one so far. This one just gives that citrusy, minty, herbal feeling that Sedley gives. It's kind of like smells like Le Mal, but in a very fresh way. It's not identical to Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It just gives hints of Le Mal, but in a very fresh, effervescent way. I personally love Meher Legacy and it gets a lot of compliments on And for what, like $30 or so? It's one of the best $30 you can ever spend on a fragrance. I kid you not. Let's just grab the one before last. And yes, it calls, yes, I am the King Evolution Paris. Uh, that's a weird name, I'm not gonna lie. But the smell of this one, it's beautiful. If you love Greenly by Parfum de Marly, again, that's a great, identical option 
at a fraction of its price. For about like $50 or so, you would smell like greenly. This one is very green, it's very herbal, it's very fresh, very citrusy, but green, green, green. It gives out like an old schoolish vibe in a way, but in a very modern way. Don't ask me how, but that's how Greenlee, the original Greenlee vibes with me. And I'm telling you, this is an almost identical clone to uh, the original Greenlee by Parfum de Marly. And that's a great one, guys. I personally love this one a lot. And for like, what, $50 or so, you just cannot go wrong with this one. I personally love this one a lot. All right, last but not least, I love Tarathi Blue, bro. This is a great one. If you love vibrato, if you love afternoon swim, if you love tiger, this is like a, a great alternative for, for all three at a fraction of its price, like for about like what, $30 or so. You just cannot go wrong with this one. This one smells great. It performs, it gets a lot of compliments. It's very citrusy, it's very fresh, very modern. And most of all, it doesn't smell synthetic. I know it is synthetic, but in the air, it doesn't smell synthetic at all. It's one of the greatest colognes that you can ever think of, especially if you love fresh fragrances. And one of the longest lasting, most projecting clones, fresh fragrances out there also at the same time. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite cologne from which brand? I'm just curious, probably I missed on something and I would love you to tell me your recommendations in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it to not miss any of this guy in the future. And this is me again, no sponge, and I see you guys next time. Peace.